Hello class, my name is Jose Flores and I will be your professor for this semester. Uh, the class is English 2351, Mexican American Literature. It is a sophomore um, literature class and at times it is called a genre course or a forms of literature class. This is a distance learning class where you will need to apply yourself um, as you would in a lecture class and you need to plan to work uh, as much as you wor would work in a lecture class. Um, what is it? Twice, twice a week uh, for a couple of hours um, plus all of the assignments that you need, you would need to do at home. Um, the best way to communicate with me will be, uh, first of all, to email me and tell me what you want to do. Do you want to talk? Do you want to come and see me in my office? Should we set uh, a place where we can meet? I'm usually between the Highland uh, Mall campus HLC campus and the Riverside campus uh, until my office um, is available again at the Rio Grande campus. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the course <clears throat> this semester, mainly uh, the page you're looking at at this point, and that is your entry point to the class. Everything I'm going to do Every lesson you're going to read, any help you're going to get, will be here on the buttons to the left. Um, there will be announcements that I will post. And when I do post announcements, they will be there um, for you to read. And I will leave them posted so that if we ever need to refer to them again, they will be there. Announcements are important. I may actually tell you that I won't be around for a week or that some pages have changed in the assignments. So make sure that um, as you go to your Blackboard, maybe once a day, uh, that you check for announcements. So um, let's talk a little bit about where you will start, which is start here. And this will be part um, of your orientation. Make sure that you click each one of these folders, call them folders, and under each folder you're going to find a lot of important information. For example, here are college policies and resources. Uh, Austin College um, is committed to student success. Students with disabilities, for example, can call these numbers. Uh, there's information about financial aid and student services. Standards of conduct are here. So you don't really have to go and read the handbook. This is These links uh, will do uh, a more uh, effective and efficient job for you. As we start here, <clears throat> then, I think this first part is very important. This thing that we call orientation folder. This student information sheet 003, if you click it, it it'll open and you will send it to me. This student information sheet will tell me your name, will tell me phone numbers, um, it will tell me where you met the prerequisite for this class. If you don't turn in this student information sheet, listen carefully. If you don't turn in this student information sheet, by the end of the first week, uh, you will be dropped from the class. Unless you have contacted me and we know um, what's going on. So that's going to be very, very important. Um, all of the other files are also very important. For example, under faculty and other essential course information, 
you're going to find uh, my syllabus. Um, you're going to find the course description and the learning outcomes, the goals of the class. Um, you will begin to see in the syllabus what we will do um, week by week uh, in the actual study guide. So let's open that up. All right, this is the course description. All right, let's move over to, let's go over here again, and let's open up syllabus here. See, this is where you will find what you will do in week one, week two, week three, um, what you're going to read, um, what we'll be studying, and all of that. Now, this is a sort of master plan of what we'll be doing. The specific, specific things that we'll do in each week will then be under learning modules. All right, we're going to have basically four learning modules. This last one, uh, we'll call it a module, but actually there are no tests here. Uh, there's a few quizzes, uh, but it's mainly um, a reader's response analysis in a project dealing with poetry. But this is where you're going to get, again, as stated in the syllabus, what we're going to be doing for week one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So let's look into one of these. All right, under every module, Introduction in Mexican-American Literature and Culture, right, you'll see that in week one, we're actually doing what we're doing right now. Uh, and that is that we are getting acquainted and I'm giving you a brief orientation on how to move about in Black Blackboard. Um, It'll tell you generally what we're going to do for that week. All right. If you click it, then you will see what you have to watch, what you have to read. Um, for example, for this first, first seven days, you will be reading Sandra Cisneros' My Name. Uh, actually, you won't be reading it. You'll be seeing it in a video and you will be writing a brief paper about your name. Um, and I will give you specific instructions on what to do under assignments. Here under assignments, you will submit, you will actually write, and you will submit the, the assignment, the writing assignment that I'm asking you to complete. Um, I told you that um, you would have to listen to Sandra Cisneros. Right here you have the video. All you have to do is click it and open it. And if you're having technical difficulties, let's clear them up right away. So, as you go through these weeks, then, if you look at the activities, I think it's important to pace yourselves. Now, there are deadlines for the work, but let's say that you were totally out um, as far as week two is concerned. Well, then you're going to have to double up week two and week three before it's time to end the week or to end the module and do this second quiz. Um, that covers material from here. It may appear just a bit vague, but once you start looking at everything I'm including under each of these modules, I think it will be very clear. So if you have questions, if you want to contact me, email me. Uh, if something that I'm doing even right now is not clear, email me and uh, we can talk about it. Have a good semester. 
buy your books, and let's stay in touch.